And hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the channel where we talk about anything related to comic books. The topic of the day is the mutant called Gambit, the Raisin Cajun. You probably came here after watching that heartbreaking X-Men 97 episode, but I'm not gonna get into details so as not to spoil it. So keep watching to find out who Gambit truly is in the comics, mon ami. Gambit burst onto the scene in 1990 in a story written by Chris Claremont and illustrated by Arthur Adams in X-Men Annual No. 14, before truly signing in Uncanny X-Men 266 later that same year, written by the same writer but with Mike Collins as the penciler. When we talk about mutants like Gambit, Wolverine and so many others, there's not really any origin story since they're just born with extraordinary, pun intended, abilities that they just later discover. However, in Gambit's case, there are quite a few things I should definitely mention about his past. As a child, young Remy was abducted by the New Orleans Thieves Guild immediately after his birth. The Antiquary, a prominent member of the guild that had formed his own power base called the Velvet Ministry, made a living by abducting children and either selling them or raising them as his slaves. But what attracted the guild to Remy even more were his unnaturally red eyes that connected the baby to the legend of Le Diable Blanc, a white man with red eyes that was prophesied to unite the thieves and the assassin's guilds. However, not wanting the child to become the Antiquary's pawn, the thieves killed patriarch Jean-Luc Lebeau adopted the kid and raised it as his own, hence Gambit's real name, Remy Lebeau. Jean-Luc trained the boy to become a master thief and he was the one that taught him how to use his trademark bow stuff. Meanwhile, his mutant powers came to the surface. Gambit had the ability to supercharge objects with kinetic energy, causing them to explode upon impact. He also possesses a hypnotic charm that allows him to influence others, while also shielding his mind from psychic intrusion. Not exactly mind control, more like manipulation. Young Remy eventually fell in love with Balladonna Boudreau, a member of the Assassin's Guild. Their marriage was supposed to unite the two guilds, but Belladonna's brother Julianne didn't agree and challenged Gambit to a duel that ended with Julianne's death, in Gambit's effort to protect himself. That event led to Gambit being exiled, therefore abandoning Belladonna and the Thief's Guild. Unable to return in New Orleans, Gambit traveled the world and became what you'd call a professional thief. However, even though his powers were a great aid to his operations, as he grew stronger they started to become uncontrollable, a single card being able to blow up a whole mountain. That was when he requested the aid of Mr. Sinister, a crazy scientist performing mutant-related experiments and one of the X-Men's greatest foes. Sinister was able to cut off some brain tissue that limited Gambit's powers to a more manageable level that was still pretty high. In return, Gambit had to help Sinister form a team of mutant villains, the Marauders, and guide them through the tunnels where the Morlocks, a mutant community, dwelt. The Marauders' plan was to massacre every single Morlock there, which Gambit didn't know. And when he found out, he tried to stop them, but he only managed to save one young Morlock that grew up to become the X-Man Marrow. Gambit then had to live his whole life feeling guilty for the murder of so many innocent mutants, because even though he wasn't aware of their intentions, he led the Marauders there. That was the night that changed him forever. After the mutant massacre, Gambit traveled to Cairo in Illinois, where he met Storm, who had been transformed to a teen with no memory of who she actually was by the villainous nanny. Just a kid, little Aurora was an easy target for the powerful psychic Shadow King, but Gambit appeared and helped her defeat him. For those wondering, she did turn back normal during the Extinction Agenda storyline, and after becoming an adult again, she introduced Gambit to the rest of the X-Men who accepted him as their member. As the master thief he was, Gambit inevitably stole Rogue's heart. No matter their love for each other though, Rogue's powers didn't allow them to touch, since she absorbs the life energy of anyone she touches. However, this didn't stop them from becoming one of Marvel's most popular couples and Gambit one of the most popular X-Men, who has remained an X-Man ever since. And that's where people who don't want spoilers should stop watching, but in case you want to know the complete history of Gambit, then by all means continue. Eventually, as Gambit feared, his role in the mutant massacre was ultimately revealed after Rogue kissed him and got access to some of his memories. 
As you'd expect, Rogue's view of Gambit completely changed, because even though he didn't want what happened, he was still involved, and she abandoned him in Antarctica, of all places, with no way to get back home. He eventually managed to return to America, though, after a series of deals with an entity known as the New Sun, who turned out to be Gambit himself from a different universe, in which his kinetic energy powers went mad and burned the Earth. His complicated relationship with Rogue held him back from rejoining the X-Men, but Storm convinced him to become a member again, and though it took some time, he managed to restore his relationship with Rogue back to normal. And not only that, but they were able to finally be together without fear of touching, after Gambit asked Sinister to turn his powers back to how they were supposed to be before he messed with them. But nothing good lasts forever, because some time later, Apocalypse returned, and Gambit became one of his horsemen, Death, thinking Apocalypse could actually be mutant kind's savior, after the events of M-Day, during which almost all mutants lost their powers. Gambit intended to turn against Apocalypse in case things turned ugly, and that's why he tried to resist his control over his mind, but he couldn't, and went as far as attacking Rogue. Once again, he needed the help of Mr. Sinister to become his true self, but once again, he was in debt and rejoined the Marauders. However, his alliance with Sinister came to an end when Rogue's life was put on the line. Rogue had fallen into a coma, and the only way to cure her shattered psyche was to use the first baby born after the M-Day. Mystique, Rogue's adoptive mother, took drastic measures to save her. She made Sinister touch Rogue's skin, which made him disintegrate, and with Sinister gone, Gambit was finally free. Then Mystique got Rogue back by having her touch the mutant baby, even though Gambit didn't like the idea of sacrificing a life for her, since contact with Rogue would probably lead to the baby's death. The baby somehow survived, but Rogue wasn't too thrilled waking up, knowing her mom wanted to kill a baby to save her, even if it all worked out fine. After all that happened, with Gambit being manipulated by Apocalypse and Sinister, and Rogue's coma, the couple split again. Remy ultimately went back to heists again, feeling there was no place for him in the X-Men. After Gambit's many accomplishments as a thief, Remy's father, Jean-Luc, made Remy go through various tests to prove himself worthy of leading the thief's guild. Gambit was victorious and secretly became the leader of the guild. However, that didn't last too long, because after a sort of intervention by Wolverine and Polaris, he realized his acts as a thief were wrong and that if he wanted to make up for what he once did, he had to become an X-Man once more. After being on the side of the Angels once again, Gambit got back with Rogue after Kitty Pride made them go to couples therapy. The spark between them was ultimately reignited and they both finally found peace. Gambit, after all he's been through, being forced to work for the worst of the worst, was finally happy. Their romance soon resulted in something totally unexpected. During Colossus and Kitty Pride's wedding ceremony, Kitty left Colossus at the altar. Unable to comprehend what they just witnessed, the guests just sat and talked, with Storm giving a speech about marriage that inspired Gambit so much that he stood up and proposed to Rogue. The couple got married right there at that moment in one of the most moving scenes in comic book history. Gambit has completely moved on from his past now and constantly tries to redeem himself for his wrongdoings. As a member of the Knights of X, he even sacrificed himself to save his team. However, there was a chance he could still be saved, and so he was resurrected, but the thing is that he came back to life as his death persona. He easily managed to become his true self this time, with the help of friends and, of course, Rogue. In recent stories, Gambit is one of the X-Men who fight against the evil organization Orcus and any other threat in mutant kind, proving his devotion to his people. Now, if you wanna read some Gambit comics yourself, I'd recommend Gambit Classic, two volumes with the first few stories starring Gambit, X-Men Origins Gambit, Gambit's Past, X-Men The Trial of Gambit, the X-Men find out about the mutant massacre, X-Men Gambit, the complete collection. Gambit's first ongoing series, a really fun one, I should add. X-Men Blood of Apocalypse and Messiah Complex. Gambit against the X-Men for the very first time. Gambit King of Thieves, I think you get what that is about. And if you're feeling romantic, you might want to check out series like Rogue and Gambit or Mr. and Mrs. X. The 8th and 24th issues of the 90s X-Men series 
are also worth a read, featuring some of the best Gambit X Rogue moments. X Men Gold number 30, featuring their wedding, is a very moving issue too, so do check it out. Well, Mon Ami, now you know who Gambit is. A villain turned hero constantly trying to redeem himself while also constantly being manipulated and misunderstood. Do tell me what you consider Gambit to be, hero or villain. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, click the like button and allow all notifications. Otherwise, I'll send Gambit after you, mate. Oh, and please no spoilers in the comments for recent X-Men episodes. Well, this was today's video and the name's Gambit, Mon Ami. Remember it.